This morning, uh, both sides uh, now looming four days from that fiscal cliff. Everybody's taxes will be going up if we go over it. Drastic budget cuts will be going into effect. And finally, leaders in Washington have agreed to talk. A meeting scheduled this afternoon at the White House. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, here to tell us what we can expect. And John, both sides now finally agreeing to meet. We want to take a listen, though, to some sound from both sides. Uh, the looks of things, no one may be uh, getting too far down the road. First, let's listen to what Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said yesterday on the Senate floor. I told the president we'd be happy to look at whatever he proposes. But the truth is we're coming up against a hard deadline here. And Republicans aren't about to write a blank check for anything Senate Democrats put forward just because we find ourselves at the edge of the cliff. Meanwhile, the Senate Majority Leader now had even harsher words for GOP leadership. The House of Representatives is operating without the House of Representatives. It's being operated with a dictatorship of the Speaker, not allowing the vast majority of the House of Representatives to get what they want. Well, this <laughs> sets up very well, Jonathan. Yeah, Carl. calling your uh, you know other guy a dictator is not usually a good way to start. The New York Times said, by the way, uh, that Harry Reid looked like an angry father-in-law who kept coming to the floor nursing a grudge all year round, all year long. Uh, look, uh, this is uh, not looking good. Obviously, they are meeting at the White House, all four congressional leaders with the president. But Josh, this is the first meeting that they have had in six weeks. I mean, you might think that this would have been, you know, we're about four days away. Perhaps every day we'd be having meetings. No, it is been since November 16th. 96 hours away now. Can we expect any reasonable breakthrough here? Here's what could happen, and I will give this about a 3 to 5% chance of happening. Okay. Um, you, you could have a, a small deal that would at least prevent these tax increases from going into effect for most people. That's what the president is going to try to push with congressional leadership. Uh, I wouldn't put a lot of hope on that. Does the president offer his own bill during this meeting? And, and this is interesting. There were some reports yesterday the president was going to present his own plan to come to Congress to do. He is not going to do that. He has offered the principles. He wants to make sure, at the very least, that taxes don't go up for 98% of Americans and that some of these automatic spending cuts don't happen. So a best case scenario there is a framework of a framework of a framework. Very well Of said. a deal. All right, you're hosting this week on Sunday. I presume you'll have a couple things to discuss I think so. this Sunday. The latest again on this fiscal cliff showdown. Senators Chuck Schumer, John Kyle joining. John, thank you. Jonathan Carl.